Got my breath for a second. Hope they went in. That's all. That was a good look. Guys fought. Guys played hard. Thought we found a pretty good offensive rhythm for us, of course. Just, you know, when you consider our struggles against a terrific defense. Um, did a pretty good job of executing. Got some good looks. Didn't make enough of them uh, defensively down the stretch. Um, we made too many mistakes. Uh, so, some of it was our offense hurting our defense late. We had two uh, pick sixes, I, I believe. They converted both of them, live ball turnovers. Um, just off being careless with the basketball, not holding our seals, stuff that, you know, it's t tough to overcome those, those uh, live ball turnover baskets. Um, and then Andrew scores a layup uh, late. I don't know whether it cut it to two or put us in the lead or tied it. I don't know, but it was a big basket, and we didn't have a floor balance guy. Um, do his job. We, we didn't have discipline there, and they threw it in and just went and laid it up. And just those things add up. Uh, defensively, we uh, we allowed a couple open ones in the last 10 minutes of the game off of a lack, lack of rotations, lack of communication, two guys guarding. I know we do a lot of zone press back to man-to-man. -to -man. We demand a lot of our guys defensively, but you're not going to beat the you know top three team in the country where, when two guys are guarding one guy and there's a guy shooting at the top of the key with nobody around him. Um, it's a little uncharacteristic of, of us, so much, a little disappointing. How much harder does it make, you, make it on you when they get the second and third chance baskets? And how, and how deflating is that after? Yeah, the did Kyle Adams to get three in one possession? Yeah. Wow, I look, he, it feels like he got 15 offensive rebounds. He, he only got three. They were all in one possession. Um, and, you know, it, our, our, it's not just our bigs. You, you know, I look out there a couple times, and our bigs are in dog fights with those guys, and they're grown men in, in, their, in their front court. And sometimes we've got guards just watching, just watching the fight. And uh, if you don't have five in a fight, again, you're not going to come up with a really big win. Seemed to work pretty well for you today in the second half, at least. In the yeah, our press was, was was pretty good. Our our one three one was pretty good. Um, if we played man to man for forty minutes, you know, Grant, Grant Williams might have had sixty. He's so good. He's so good, and we might all fouled out, including me. He's really good. So I I thought that our guys did a pretty good job of executing some things that that made them play more to a shorter clock. He drives. Was, I mean, it was somebody obviously supposed to rotate out there. I mean, what, what exactly happened? Well, it's an isolation play at the top of the key, so it's it's, it's really hard. Where do you bring help from? You know, and um, we uh, we're a gap defense, and when Grant Williams has it at the top of the key, we're supposed to be an extra gap, and we weren't. We weren't. I mean, the whole bench can yell ISO all they want. Five guys on the court have to talk. You think you got away with one? The no. No. I think we should have been in the right place. And Mark was one for ten. Yeah. In thirty four minutes and it's still a one possession game here with a minute left. Is, yeah, did some good things. Is anything encouraging to you, even despite the result, that you guys were right there in it? It's number three I mean I can give you some positives, but I you know, I just uh I, I, I don't enjoy saying the same things every day. I just don't enjoy – I mean, I, I could give you a laundry list of stuff I just talked to our team about. Filing jump shooters, are you kidding me? We're in the middle of January and we're filing jump shooters. Guards rebounding down to help our bigs. Jump passes, two jump passes, four points for the other team. And we called a couple plays there in the second half when we needed the big baskets and we, we got one guy going in the wrong direction. And um, it's just – it's got to be more important to us. This, this, this can't be a moral victory. That we're the University of Florida, and we did not do our jobs down the stretch. Uh, they, had, they had a big three late in the game in the opposite corner of the bench. Why? Because we're out of a stance and we're staring at the basketball. You can't talk about that more than our staff talks about that on a daily basis. 
and we're going to talk about it again tomorrow. Uh, we made free throws. What was our, what was our percentage there? 17 to 21. So we, we, we met our goal of shooting 80%. I thought that that was a positive. Um, I like the aggressiveness that Kayvon Allen has playing with the last two games. I think Dante Bassett continues to improve and work. And whether he's in the game or out of the game, he doesn't sulk. He, uh, he wants to win. Keontae Johnson did some good things. You know, I don't care about Andrew not converting. I mean, he, he, they're terrific defensively. He'll, he'll make his share of those. I thought he did a pretty good job. That's a, that's a feisty, deep, quick, fast, pressured, experienced defense. And um, he did some good things. Got some guys. He had five assists. He should have had eight or nine if we were a little bit better offensively. Those are the positives. You have to work on what is at the rim because, I mean, two of those are just bunnies. And yeah. You know, he's kind of, you know, I mean. Yeah. Um, you know, it's easier said than that. I, I know, you know, heck, we miss some layups and, you know, that's, we've got to convert there. But uh, he's also being ridden off of a back screen and trying to cut as fast as he can by a 220-pound guy. and catches it and he's trying to look quick at the rim. I mean, it's, it's a good defense. It's uh, sometimes those shots aren't as easy um, as as they look. That said, we've got we've got to make layups. I mean, even um, even when we get fouled at the rim and you know, the the the, the missed. I don't know how many of them we had today, but we've we got to be amongst the conference leaders and miss dunks, miss layups, but we get a foul and we celebrate That's How about we get some and ones, you know, we, Good teams finish at the rim through contact. Um, and I don't expect us to be a great offensive team overnight, but we, we've, we, we've got to start finishing some of those. How do you evaluate where your four spots out between Hudson? Dante Bassett looked like he had a pretty quality game tonight, 22 minutes, and then Keith Stone. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't call. I mean, we really only have one true four in our program, and that's, that's Keith Stone. Chase Johnson was recruited to play a four. Um, Jalen Hudson is, you know, he's he's a he's a two guard, and Dante Bassett's a, a five. But those guys, I don't. Keontae's a wing that, that we're playing it as some, as playing some mismatch four minutes, and playing some four guard stuff. Um, Got to be careful not telling him he's a four. Uh, We've got to get better at that spot. We've got to get better at every spot. Uh, our fours are uh, sitting behind that arc a bunch as we struggle to score in the interior. And I thought that um, they had some plays where they had, they had a chance to attack some closeouts where they were run off the line with a shot fake. And then we drive it. And uh, sometimes we got some good stuff off of that. Uh, sometimes we didn't. Mike, what did you see at John Bay? He was one of the few guys that was uh, plus in the plus minus tonight. I didn't look at the plus minus yet. That's interesting. Oh, wow. Should have played him 40 minutes. My goodness. Um, what is, what I guess, what he had, he, uh, yeah, he, he's our best athlete. He, he's got a he's, – his athleticism could really impact the game if he had a great motor. And I think it's gotten better since he's gotten here. There's, a, there's a, for high school kids, there's always a, a transition, and uh, not always uh, in terms of your intensity level, but a lot of times, I should say. And uh, he's going through it. He looked to play to me with a little bit more confidence. Um, I thought he was a little bit more locked in defensively tonight. Uh, so minutes are to be had. I say it every day. I say it every day on the court. I say it every day in the film room. Minutes are up for grabs, you know. They're, they're, they're there to be taken. Anything else I can answer, guys? What a great environment. Wow. Fans were incredible. Uh, disappointing. We, we couldn't uh, reward them. Are you concerned at all about seeing a tough losses come out that can't hold this team together? Um, 
I don't know the best way to answer it, Pat. Uh, I was concerned after game one. Uh, yeah, we're just, we've got, we've got some areas where we're just average or below average. Uh, we've got good guys that will continue to work and stay together. But if we don't get more disciplined, more mentally tough, pay closer attention to detail relative to scouting and our offensive and defensive rules, then this is going to happen much more. Unless we get three guys that just start going to get 25 a game. 